It is raining and cool in Kansas. Really, I'm sitting out on the front porch with jacket on. It's like August 4th or 5th. It's like unbelievable. I'm smoking one of those brass calabashes. It's a pretty old one, though. It's actually a... Gosh, I have no idea how old it is. It's got to be over 30 years old. I got a, I got a gourd calabash with the marsham in it, but uh, I don't smoke it as much as I do this one. This one's a smaller one. That other one's a great big calabash. And this, I have some Escudo, some Navy Flake, and some just straight sweet Virginia Flake because um, I've been smoking some of that over the weeks and I, I like the flavor, I just needed to kind of meld it down a little so that's why I throw in that Virginia. So Ghosty wanted to know if we could go back and, and meet anybody who would we want to go meet and talk to and do things with and and um and he, he told us we could do history or prehistory prehistory before it was written down in case you guys didn't figure that one out anyway <laughs> um you know and we had one that wanted to go back to dinosaurs i i just don't think i kind of believe in that theory of um probably a, a meteor uh hit the earth and covered it with dust and the sun was blocked out and that brought on that cold wave. It's almost too cool to set out here. I can't believe this. But then he was like, uh, and I got to thinking, it's like, ah, you know, I, I, I don't think I'd want to do that. And so I think about going with the, uh, oh, traditional women's route, you know. I thought, well, let me go all the way back to supper. Uh, because um, Plato said she was one of the top ten poets. Then I realized I probably wouldn't have understood what she was talking about anyway. So why, why do that? And then there's Cleopatra, Jonah Arc, Madame Curie. You know, you go back and think about all those famous women and eh, I, I thought, nah, you know, I don't really care if I do that. So I started thinking about just my life as it is and, you know, I had a great life, so I'm not, I'm not saying anything bad about my life. I loved my life. But there were things that happened in my life that uh, I would have liked to have, if I knew then what I know now. A good example is Jimi Hendrix. That's, that's going to be, that'll be the example I'll use. I wish I had known that we wouldn't have him around as long because I thought I'd have time to see him. You know, I had no idea. I was a little young for him still, but I was, I was watching and listening. And, and even my mom said if she had realized that we were going to lose Jim and Hendrix so soon, and you got to realize my mom was a very progressive mother, but um, she said if she had known we were going to lose Jimi Hendrix as soon as we did, she would have made sure that we had gone to Monterey to see him or... Mm. She would have. She said we would have had more of a chance to to look at him because, um, you know, we lost him way too soon. And I think that's that's what I would have liked to have done. I would have liked to have gone back, go back just into my lifetime, and relive my life knowing then what I know now. Because, you know, Jimi Hendrix was the electric blues. I mean, we are talking about you know the amplifier feedback. The first time people were really starting to utilize that. As you can tell, I, I'm, I like music. You know, um, it, it would have just been so nice to have been able to see him at the pop, as he's winning his pop music awards and stuff like that, like he did in 68 and 67 and stuff. Like I say, it would have been really interesting to just go back into my timeline. Um, you know, uh, I, got, I got to see men land on the moon through the television, and I don't, I don't think I wanted to be any closer than that, because that was close enough. Um, Amelia Earhart it lives here close, but although she was important in my life because of I wanted to be an astronaut, you know, uh, Wally Funk, Captain Wally Funk, she was part of Mercury 13, the women, 13 women that were as good as men to be astronauts, and she just, she didn't make it, but, um, you know, 
I didn't, I got to meet her and she didn't get to go, but who I would have loved to have uh, met up with is um, Valentina. Oh, gosh. I can't think, probably can't say her name right anyway, but. While we were still discussing whether we was going to send women or not, Soviet Union sent one. You know, one of the first women to, uh, you know, go up into space was was from U USSR, and that would have been very uh, neat to have met her and be able to speak her language, of course. But see, that's what I'm saying. There is so much just in my lifespan because I was born in the 50s, you know, and so I've had uh, 70 years going into 60 years plus uh, of things that were happening in our time frame that were so quick and so fast. I kind of am finding it interesting that some of the younger ones are saying things like they would have liked to, you know, <laughs> been there for the moon landing and stuff like that. I was. I was there for the moon landing. Uh, President Kenny, Kennedy's assassination, you know, I don't know that I would have liked to have been the little mouse in the room that watched him die. You know, I, I, there are some things I don't want to see again. I don't want to see all the television coverage that would be present now if something like that happened to him, you know? So there are some things that I, what would I change in, in my life? That's more what I'm looking at. What would I have gone to see? Um, all the bands, I just, I, you know, I keep thinking of some of the bands that, that I missed out on because I didn't know they weren't going to be together forever. <laughs> we had a, a different view of the world, all of us, in those days. We thought we were young and going to live forever, and we thought everybody was too, you know. We had no idea that we would lose people so quickly. Okay, so... The question was, who would you go back in time to see, or what would you go back in time to see if you could go back in time? And I'm a child of the 50s. So I grew up in the 60s with the moon. Uh, it's that pipe, whatever that pipe is. You guys try to figure it out because I can't read it. And, and it is some, um, hell if I know, probably, uh, it was some, what was left on the tray? It was some 965 with a little bit of a Scudo in it and a little bit of Navy Flake still that, or uh, Navy Roll that I'd left on the tray from a couple of days ago. It was real dry, so I added some 965 to it because I needed to dry out some of that. The Navy Roll was really wet. Anyway, so I would go back in time, but then I'd already told you that one of the favorite people that I met, so it isn't somebody I would get to meet, but I did get to meet Wally Funk, and she was one of the first uh, Apollo 13, they were called the Mercury 13 women, and they weren't allowed to go because they couldn't go into the Air Force because women couldn't go into the Air Force back then because they had periods, go figure, and they didn't want them to interfere uh, with the emotional... Uh, problems that women have, they were afraid that they couldn't be in the Air Force. And you couldn't be a, um, an astronaut if you didn't ha have Air Force behind you. So I would have liked to have gone to the first moon landing just because I want to see if it was real or staged. Not really, I know it was real. <laughs> I'm on my way out the door to work, it's five o'clock in the morning. And I don't know if you guys can see the name of that or not because I just never can anymore. Then I got my eyes fixed. I still don't have that good a vision. But the question was, where would you go back in time to? <laughs> Gosh. I think the Big Bang would be fun to watch. Imagine the whole universe starting with one Big Bang. <laughs> People say, how old is dirt? You already should know, Sue. But for the most part, I've been here for a lot of history. you got to realize I was here for the Kennedy assassination. I was alive. I was watching it on TV kind of thing. I was here for the moon landing. I am old. 50% of the things that some of these guys are coming up that they want to go see, like the moon and things like that. I was alive then, so it's not going back in time for me. So I have to go back even further. I really think the dinosaurs died from a, a meteor asteroid that hit. 
I always have thought that. I don't know when that came about, but I kind of thought that sounded about the best theory. This global warming thing, too, going on, you know. So I've had a few different things that I think it could be. But I don't know what I would want to go back to see, so I'm having to think about it. But don't have anything about it today. Got to go. Love you. Wait, I don't say that, do I? I say, happy, happy, joy, joy, you know I'm watching you. Excudo in a old calabash. It's one of the brass ones. It's not uh, the Marisham line. I do have a Marisham line. I have an old African calabash, you know, the real calabash made from the gourd and stuff. <clears throat> and it does have Marisham. But this one is just lined with brass. They quit lining them with... Well, the gourds got illegal to transport. Import. <laughs> I'm not sure when that happened. I know that I bought my couple of calabashes before that. Oh, and Mickey's to drink. What could be better, right? A really strong, strong tobacco and a sweet beer. That's what I like about Mickey's. They're sweet. <laughs> happy, happy. I wonder who the asshole is that comes in here and puts all these, like, in a tray or something. And what do they do? Expect me to clean them? I don't know who that is. Oh, wait a minute. Those are my pipes. Oops.